Hey everybody, we are back with the second half of the unbagging of my $40 bag of vintage retro wearable costume jewelry and findings. <laughs> Now, the first half we went through was very, very nice. It's mostly necklaces. I've got a few earrings in there, too. Um, one bracelet. It's the Tiger's Eye bracelet that I found. It's very cute. So I don't want to do any too much intro here. Let's just get into part two of this bag. I'm pretty sure we'll finish the bag, too. Yeah, see? <laughs> no bits and pieces at the bottom. That could be a good sign. That's really cool. I love this color blue. Let's get that one out first. So this is, okay, it's a triple strand with a hook clasp with gold. And these blue ones are wood and they're beautiful dark blue. I like that a lot. Let's see this one. Well, this is a little broken pendant, maybe finding. And that's a swirled like resin. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Go from the top. Let's see. This is neat. Okay. The clasp is here. Not marked. These look like teeth. But they're plastic. That's plastic. You can see the kind of like the seam where they melted it together or something. I don't know. And it's swirled and pretty. That's nice. Look at that one. These are cool. This might be shell. Maybe. Might be plastic. <laughs> I'm really horrible at telling. Yeah, that was a mark. Cool. I'm pretty pretty bad at telling what materials they are. <laughs> I'm getting better. Okay, so this one here. Ooh, this is a crown trafari. Crown trafari. And it is this very nice light baby pink and then these like ivory-ish colored larger balls. And it's dirty. I can clean that. Not a big deal. That's nice. Okay, here's a hinge bracelet. Is it? Oh yeah, like that. And it's missing its safety chain, but that's cool. It says silver plated. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Silver plated and it's got some really nice etching. Cool. Stay. Okay, here's some more gold. These are like a light metal bead. It says Korea on that. Nice. Simple gold beads. Here is some more pearls. And these are faux. Nothing on the clasp, a nice length, creamy colored pearls, and some hot pink, oh baby. These are some hot pink round beads with little spacers, little gold spacers in between. That's cool. Love hot pink. Okay, this is stuck in that, okay. So this is a triple strand, and these are wood beads. I don't know if you can see the texture of the wood. Three strand black with silver spacer beads, silver clasp. Cool. Okay, maybe. Hmm. Oh, an earring. It's just a little purple ball. It's cold, it might be glass. It's pretty that swirl. Okay, what's this? So this is a metal bracelet. It could be engraved. It's got one of these interesting clasps. I never really know how to like open these ones effect efficiently, you know? Anyway, yeah, those are nice. It's kind of cool. It's a little worn. Not too bad, though. It's my bracelet pile. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, speaking of bracelets, here's this one. It's got a nice seam all down the middle of this part and right here and right here. So this isn't like, I don't think that's vintage plastics or anything like that. It's just, it's kind of cool though. Then we've got, hmm, this is a braided like serpentine chains. 
and they are a couple different tones. We've got kind of a coppery tone, a gold tone, and a silver tone. No marks on the clasp, and they're braided. That's neat. Hmm, what do I want to go next? How about this one? Ooh, look at these gold balls. <laughs> Boys, shush, please. They don't listen to me. Why do I even bother? Oh, that's loose. But these are on a gold tone chain. All these fabulous gold beads, and they graduated. They graduate to a bigger size. They're a little worn out, but not too bad. This could be fun. You go with a nice serpentine chain. It's a very worn clasp. It says Korea on it. it. Might be a replacement, the lobster type. I don't know. But yeah, this is. It's in pretty good shape. It's not the smoothest I've ever felt of this kind, but it's also not bent like at all. So nice, winning. <laughs> Ooh, this is very lightweight. And it's, oh, it's light metal and it's open on the inside with all these flowers. Sure, that's pretty. Okay, that's stuck on that. Oh, this has a mark on it. Let me look. Boys, you're being loud. Please stop. Napier. This is a gold Napier necklace. And it has a, <laughs> it's got a charm that says grandma on it with a little rose. Hmm. Okay, more bracelets. This one is a stretchy. And it's got a little flower on it. Very light metal, gold tone. Got a good spring to it though. Oh, here's a couple earrings. Those fun like plastic. You can link these things together too and make linked together necklaces. I've got something like that. Very neat. Oh, I'm gonna go over here. We got this in the last bag where I think it's polymer clay and how it's painted. That's cool artsy. Here's a black one with like gold paint splatter. It's a little post stud. Ooh, look at that. We have a string cross necklace and that's all braided and wrapped around. That's pretty. Oh, I can already see this is missing some of the gems. Okay, this is an Avon. And it's cute, but it's missing two of the little cat eye gems right there. So that'll go to craft. Hmm. Oh well. Ooh, gold stone. This is a gold tone necklace with a gold stone. That's like that man-made stone I learned on my channel. Thank you for everybody who told me it was gold stone. <laughs> I'll test the finding maybe because sometimes these are set in 14K, but I don't know, this one probably isn't. And this clasp is pretty wretched. Oof, but that's nice. Gold stone. Ooh, what's this? Stuck on that. Alrighty, so this is like a little, oh, it's one of those like bolo tie styles where you can increase or decrease the length just by pulling on those. And it's gold tone. I don't see any markings, but it's got like that mesh in the middle for the rose and these little leaves or petals. That's really cute. Really very sweet. Okay. We got more of that coated cotton strands and it's four strands with all these these are just plastic beads this one might be glass here this main one down here at the bottom that might be glass but I'm not really sure but that's pretty I like those colors then gold tone chain oh wow this one has like an actual piece of like shell and it's made to look like a shell that is very cool. Okay, we pulled out this too. 
This is chain and thread that is twisted together. That needs a bit of repair, but there's nothing on that tag. That's nice. Excuse me a moment. Alrighty, I'm back. That wasn't a child interruption that time. I had to go do something. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is like a stylized elephant carved out of something. That might be bone or horn. Really hope it's not ivory. I don't think it's ivory. Nah, that's bone. That's really cool. These little black seed beads and these brown seed beads too. And we've got this little barrel clasp. Ooh, wood. This is a wood leaf pendant. And it's on a gold tone chain, multi-chain, with these fabulous little beads. It's really neat. Not marked. This is just a strand of beads. All right. The strand of seed beads, you see that's like the coppery tone and like the silvery tone and the white. Very simple. Very, that's very nice. It looks good. This is a silver tone, no mark. And it's like another twisty chain. It's nice. A gold tone serpentine chain. Also with no marks, in very good shape. I can find a pendant for that one. Alrighty, this one. Again, not marked. Gold tone chain with a little dangly pearl. I'm thinking it might be faux. I'm gonna rub it against a different faux. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just faux. Nice though. Cute, simple. Delicate. Ooh, that needs restrung. Something awful. That's neat. It's like this silver tone. I like this kind. Yeah, I don't see any marks or anything, but it appears to be in good shape except for needing to be restrung, which is easy to do, and I will do that. Okay, we've got more just plain white beads and this little hook clasp. These are sometimes marked. I don't see anything on this one. Like Japan or Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah, this was definitely somebody selling them, you know? Like that's got a tag on it I'm going to need to take off. It's very well worn. This is hope, faith, peace. And it's got this lovely little angel. That's pretty. Okie dokie. I like this too. Put that down a second. These are nice. We got the two separate tones of blue on the silver tone chain. And it's got this little drop here, but I don't think that's attributed to any one designer. Let me know if I'm wrong. I don't recognize it. But that's really pretty. Wipe that up. That should sell good. Oh gosh, excuse my grammar. That should sell very nicely, very well. Just a loose plastic stretch bracelet. Uh-oh. <laughs> bangles. Bangle, bangle, bangle. Those are nice ones though, very shiny. Bracelet pile. Here is a memory wire bracelet, and it has some tiger eye and some glass beads, Ooh, and some plastic beads, but that's really pretty. Look at those three. It's lovely. Very nice. Okay, what do we got over here? We've got, here's a sand dollar, a little sand dollar earring. Here's another stretchy bracelet. Oh, here's the match to the, there we go. Here's the match to that heart with the rhinestones. Hope it's missing one right there. I can fix that if I want. There's the other sand dollar. Here is a blue enamel with silver. 
It's the mate. It's nice. It's like a royal blue. It's a pretty color. Oop, and these ones are tied together. So like a gold tone, the finish is wearing off, but they've got like these little etchings and then the rhinestones. A little worn, but still wearable. Ooh, the match to this one that I think was like clay or porcelain or something, and it's painted with these little grasses. It's pretty. Don't retaliate, please. <laughs> She's okay. We have the mate to this as well, I think. I think. Nope, I'm mistaking that bracelet, this springy bracelet for the wires. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, that's a little wire earring. I don't see it in here. Here's the same type of stretchy plastic bracelet. Oh, gosh. This is a gold tone twisted bracelet. It's got a nice little clasp, but it is not marked. This one, this little guy, why do they have it on that and not that? I don't understand people. <laughs> anyway, it says Korea there on the little tab. And these are some kind of dingy silver tone beads, but that's still a fun necklace. Ooh, this is a fun dangle. It's a post stud. Three little dangles on there. One of them is wood. That's neat looking. Then this one. That's a cool drop earring. Ooh, it's like statement. Statement central. Here's the mate. Beautiful. Ooh. Here's the match. We've got a match to this one too, in there already. We've got the match to that one. I like these kind, like the cascading, the cascading earrings, like a waterfall. And these ones are gold leaves. A little worn, but not bad. Here is a, this needs cleaned, it is kind of worn. Um, silver tone with these little hearts and they've got magnets oh god it does totally need to be cleaned yuck but it's one of those magnet therapy bracelets i don't see any markings but that ooh, immediately needs cleaned yuck anyway here's another rat bracelet this is cool it's these little printed beads like they're kind of made to look wood burned or etched or something and then these that's nice and then, last but not least, oh wait, nope, another purple ball. Hmm. I think that's one we first pulled out for this video. And then last but not least, for real this time, is this lovely wooden ball necklace. It's got a little of the string showing, but yeah, it's got the wood and the gold and wood spacers. And they graduate up sizes until the bottom to this big old ball down here. That's lovely. But this bag was a lot of fun. I mean, besides a couple of things in the craft pile, a couple of things missing gems, these very lightweight plastic stretch bracelets and this kind of broken bead, it was all completely sellable. So I'm very excited about this bag. I can't wait to get open my next one though. It's bigger and it was $50, not 40 and I don't know if it looks like it has a lot of small stuff in it. So we will open that up for our next video. And that might take three videos. There is a lot of stuff in there. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbag this lovely bag of jewelry. I don't like, oh no, we had a crown jafari. I was going to say nothing was marked, but yeah, we had a couple things. Awesome. Ah, uh, I need to work on my outro, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Bye.